Very excited about having Chef Ann on the show today. She is from phillycookinglessons.com. She's going to show us the essential tools that she has at home that helps her create professional chef quality dishes at home every single time without fail. So I'm excited to learn with Chef Ann today. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the tools that we mentioned in the video today, head down to the links below. And also just a friendly reminder, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe, hit that big red button at the bottom of this video, subscribe and see every new episode every single Sunday. All right, so I'm here with Chef Ann and she's gonna talk about her essential tools. So, first things first, chef knife. Yes, chef knife. So it doesn't really matter what kind of chef knife you get, what you really want is one that's perfect for you. I have really small hands. So I have a fairly small chef knife. This is a carbon steel knife. You don't need a carbon steel knife. You can get a stainless steel knife. But try to find one that feels good in your hands, that when you hold it right around here, up at this part, that it doesn't fall back this way or fall back fall forward, right? So it needs to be nice and level. If the handle is too big, you're not gonna like it when you take it home, right? right? So you wanna make sure the handle feels good on your hand. Tell me more about how to keep your knife in good shape mm. and care of your knife. Never put your knife in the dishwasher. That's mm. number one key. The dishwashing uh, detergent and liquid is too strong. It will make your knife dull. Sharpen your knife. So you have to sharpen your knife. Depends on how often you use it, but if you're using it every day, I would sharpen my knife at least every two weeks. Like, well, I failed on the dishwashing part, so see, learn something new every day. Okay, so I was just telling Chef Ann that I do not have this next tool in my cupboard. However, I have a box grater, mm -hmm. okay? Big reveal. Microplane grater. And the reason you want a microplane grater is that it's just more versatile than a box grater. A box grater can give you big, Big cheese, right? Right. Um, this can work for zesting. It can work for cheese. It makes lovely snow, uh, cheese snow. It works also for ginger, garlic, chocolate. Ooh, <laughs> right? chocolate. It's just, yeah, it's handheld, so you, it's easier to clean. And you know what we call box graters in the restaurant community? Tell me. We call them knuckle graters. Ah. Uh, right? Because yes. you usually get your knuckles. Because it's like little tiny pieces of you exactly. in every dish. <laughs> okay, so we're on to our next tool, Chef Ann. What do we have? Spoonula. This is a silicone spoonula. It's fully encased in silicone, so there's no moving parts at all. And the reason I like this is because it's heat proof, right? So I can put this directly into my pan and it's not gonna melt. It's also great because it scrapes the bowl really well, right? right? So if you're making some sort of batter, melting chocolate, you don't wanna leave chocolate in your bowl, this will get all of it, right? You're able to scrape the whole bowl really well. Right. And it's super versatile and it's easy to clean because it's one piece. In one foul swoop, Yep. done. It comes out right perfect. You want one that's a little bit bendy, right? And you want one that's I like spoon as opposed to spatula because ah, I can still scoop with it. Right. I'm coming with all the A plus tips today. Okay, last but not least, our final tool is a good pair of tongs. Not those crazy long ones. I know a lot of people are afraid of heat, right? right. They're afraid of burning themselves, so they get the really long ones. You can't control them. You need a, a nice small pair. This one's nice because it's there's there's no extra pieces, so it's easy to clean. But you use it for everything, from you know, put flipping your fish in your pan. Right. Yes. Mix your salad with it, exactly. right? Like I use this for everything. Making these like the workhorses of your kitchen. Exactly. We're not talking about things that are hundreds of dollars. Yep. Okay, so all of these things, the price point is super reasonable. Yep. If you wanna chef it up and you wanna be taking your cooking game a little bit higher, just go for it, go for the gold.